Welcome to a tutorial video in Twine 2.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about variables in Sugarcube 2.28. In programming terminology, a variable can be thought of as a bucket. That is, we set values in them, and then we look at, we'll see what's inside the bucket. We can think of it then as a variable, as a name for that bucket. So we have a name of something that we're putting values into, and then checking to see, using that name, what values are in there. In Sugarcube, there are two different types of variables, story and temporary. Both describe how long these variables last, that is, how long these buckets last when we're using them. Story variables start with a dollar sign. As story variables, they last as long as the story itself does. If the story is closed, the story is not running, and the story variable now doesn't exist. So, story variables last as long as the story does. Story variables in Sugarcube, like in other programming environments, follow a standard convention. They can contain letters and numbers. They cannot contain spaces. And we see an example of that right here. The value is 10. And when we look at the code, we'll see how we created that. But as a re quick review here, story variables, like all variables within Sugarcube, can contain letters and numbers. They cannot contain spaces. This is a standard convention in a lot of other programming environments as well. Temporary variables are similar to story variables, but are different in two key ways. They last as long as a current passage does, and they start with the underscore. In some programming environments, you can also use the underscore to describe variables. In Sugarcube, you cannot. Story variables start with the dollar sign, and temporary variables start with an underscore, and they both describe, as I mentioned, how long they last. Story variables last throughout a story. Temporary variables last as long as the current passage. And we see an example of that right here. The value is 10. So let's review these two things again. Once created, story variables survive as long as the story does. And we see here, the value is 10, again. Temporary variables, on the other hand, only last as long as the passage in which they are created. The value is, and then we see the name of a variable which tells us in Sugarcube that this variable does not exist. And we know it doesn't exist because it's an underscore and it's a temporary variable that was created and used in a previous passage. However, we're now in a different passage and that temporary variable no longer exists. So let's go look at the code for all of this. We see here we've got three, we've got four different passages connected starting from the start passage pulling up story variables, we see we're using the set macro right here. And we're setting a story variable, notice the dollar sign, to a value. So set variable to value is how we read this from left to right. And then we can immediately use that in the passage to look at its value. So we see here, set a variable to a value. Now it's important to note with both story and temporary variables that if a variable does not exist, it is created for us. However, if it already exists, its value will be overwritten. And this will be described more in another video. But right now, we'll take it to know that we can create variables through simply using the set macro. we we'll set a variable to a value. And then depending on the type of variable we want to use, we use a, either use a dollar sign for story variables or an underscore for temporary variables. And in fact, we see that right here. Looking at temporary variables, we see the exact same setup. Except in this time, with a different name, we're now using the underscore. And this is a combination of letters and numbers. And again, no spaces. So we see the same setup using the set macro. We see this time with an underscore and we're setting a variable to a value and then we can immediately use it right after that. Once a variable exists, we can start to use it for things. And as I mentioned when we were looking at the reviewing passage, if a variable doesn't exist, Sugarcube lets us know by showing us the name of that variable instead of showing its value. So in this case, because this is a story variable, example variable here, then we were able to set its value earlier in the story and it just maintains as long as the story does. This temporary variable down here, however, was created and then we moved to another passage and now it doesn't exist anymore. And so we can no longer look at its values. And these are the two different types of variables that are, exist within Sugarcube. Either story variables, again, that last the length of the story, or temporary variables that only last as long as they create 
as long as they are created within that passage. When we move to a next passage, the, those temporary variables no longer exist. We create both using the set macro. Thanks for watching.